Much more coming up on World Tennis Day. Events involving countries like Iran, Ivory Coast, and of course plenty across America. Events in Hong Kong and London, all building to the BNP Paribas showdown here in New York. And this match between Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray. Five floors below us on the court surface. Or he won a few matches in his day. Brad Gilbert, what do you expect to see? What do you expect to learn from this exhibition match tonight between well, these guys? First of all, I'm sure we will see some long rallies. Even though it's been 18 months since these guys have played each other, they are so familiar with each other. They go way back to the juniors. And for Novak Djokovic, this will be the first time since 2006 that he heads into the huge swing of Indian Wells in Miami without winning a title. And last year at the end of the year, he was the dominant player. He made a huge change in switching coaches from his longtime coach, Marion Vida, to Boris Becker. So a very interesting move. So I think these next couple of tournaments will be very important for him for getting his form. And Andy Murray finished off last year by having back surgery and he's trying to find his form both players play their best tennis on hard court i think they'll use this match tonight to get ready for the next couple of tournaments expect Time. some wall-to-wall -wall movement out here tonight on this garden court perhaps a little bit more movement than we saw in the doubles match oh, earlier. i thought you might go there chris <laughs> yeah i think there may be just a little bit more absolutely again this does not count as an official head-to-head -head since that meeting at wimbledon last summer they have not played but they did play as 13 year olds in france a match which murray dominated again born a week apart they came up through the ranks Djokovic blossoming a bit earlier once they turned Ladies pro just a reminder they met five times in grand rows. slams Three zip Djokovic in Australia. Play. Murray winning, of course, here Honor in New York at the Open at Wimbledon. Nets behind the court. What's your assessment of how this court surface will play into what we will see after? Being yeah, down I, I agree with Brad. I mean, I think pretty much any surface these two guys play against each other is going to be long rallies. They both rely on their movement so much, work the ball around the court. I think it's a relatively medium the slow court pretty low bounce on the slice so I think we'll see both guys employ the slice quite a bit and these guys did team up back in 2006 when Murray had a slightly different look junior doubles wow. the Australian Open that had a hair. Other, right yeah huh. Novak says he took English in school but he was Almost impossible to understand the Scottish accent Murray, when they first met his kids. Novak Djokovic, to serve. Djokovic will serve. Like, I can't understand the Scottish accent. There's our insurance player profile on Djokovic. You know his resume well. He's ranked at two. Murray down at six at the moment. Inactivity following back surgery in September. I think Nobody's getting slightly annoyed with the persistent questions, Patrick about the Boris Becker impact. What is he mm -hmm. teaching? What is he bringing to you? Novak keeps pointing out it's very early in the relationship and don't expect to see a lot of changes or results. Well, you, I think the reason he's getting all those questions is, first of all, it's Boris Becker, and that's number one. always been a wizard with the racket even Novak's got a smile watch this if he, he gets the ball normally you let this ball drop he hits it actually as it's still up high and just flicks it he's got a lot of options doesn't he well, the, other, the other reason Chris is as I was talking about Becker is because I think we've seen a pretty significant effect from Stefan Edberg with Federer in his game.
longest run with the coach. You know, he, uh, Djokovic was with Marion Vita seven and a half years, and he was playing great at the end of the year. That's, and the switch came at the end of December, which surprised everybody. Vita's still involved, of course, in the Djokovic team. Totally break chances for Murray. He was able to beat Djokovic, I believe, in, in straight sets at Wimbledon. That slice stays low, and I think it'll be effective on this surface. You see the comparison. They've been linked for half of their lives since 13-year-olds, that first meeting. Djokovic, of course, breaking through with Murray falling short in his first few major finals. Serve. Murray practiced on this court this afternoon. Djokovic did not. Took part in a clinic. Oh, not used to seeing that rank down there at six. Patrick, you were just out here a half hour ago. You know, we asked Andy Thanks Murray for the reminder. Was... Brett, can you, can <laughs> yeah. you stop reminding me, please? <laughs> Sorry about Brian's that. Brian gave us a beating out there. But go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. How was the court speed playing? It was like lightning fast as far as I could tell. But no, I think for these guys, it's, it, as I said earlier, Brett, I would say it's medium speed. I mean, indoors always plays a bit quicker, as, as we know. Murray serving hey, big. And that's the, the tennis ball is the story. This is the red dot ball that has right. been used at the U.S. Open, not typically used on the ATP Tour very much. It was supposed to fly through the air that quickly. speeds things up a little bit, yeah. I, I thought John might have asked for those, like the lighter balls. Guys are serve about seven, eight miles an hour bigger. I was surprised yeah. they're not playing with heavy duty. And he was quite surprised at his practice. He was having a little trouble. Oh. Controlling feeling the ball, which is just you know the slight differences in the weight can make big differences. Brad, we could have asked for every possible thing you could imagine to get an advantage, and uh, it, it you know wouldn't have made a difference tonight. <laughs> Boy, the Bryans were just awesome, and we're just uh, well, we're old. <laughs> <laughs> awesome beats yeah, old. Yeah. Over the years, Patrick, you've seen Federer and Sampras compete in this event, a very tight yep. three-setter when Pete served for it. Federer was able to, to break and win it in a tiebreak. We've seen Nadal and Del Potro. Roddick defeated Federer on this court. A mix of some very serious tennis and some lighthearted stuff. What do you expect to see tonight? I think the same. I, mean, I think you always, these guys, look, they always want to win. These two guys do know each other well, uh, as we've talked about. Yeah. Well, and they know it. Uh, they want to put on a good show. That's obviously number one. Number one is stay healthy. I That's true. Guess. That's a good point. And Djokovic holds. First time in the garden for both these guys. Murray visited the garden when it was being renovated. Back in New York, early break for Andy Murray. Djokovic talked, Patrick, about that loss to Federer. He felt he really was the better player out, out playing Roger for the first set and a half. But he thought that he got a little passive and Federer got more aggressive and kind of took the match away from him. You know, I think the reason, Chris, that Novak Djokovic brought Boris Becker on board is really just for one reason, and that's to, to play those big points better on the big occasions. Djokovic has been remarkably consistent the last couple of years in the majors. 
course, he had that one incredible year where he won three majors, but he's been semis of finals of pretty much every tournament he plays. This year finally gets snapped at losing in the quarters in that marathon loss to Vavrinka. Stands win, but that was a match in which Djokovic did not play a couple of big points well at all at the end of the match. And that's what's cost him. You, you look at the big matches he's lost. I mean, I've, the most obvious is last year was to Nadal. At the French, had a huge opportunity there. That semifinal. Fall gives Djokovic his three chances to get back on serve. A brisk morning jog for Novak in Central Park, which is right across the street from the hotel in which the players are staying. Novak tweeted out this photo. Were you up jogging? I, I was doing what we, you know, like what Brad Gilbert just walking. I was doing the morning. Didn't didn't help me in my match tonight. So I hope it helps him. It was, it was the quite chilly. Serve, you can't find today that cold. No. I, I walked to get coffee and it was bitter cold. Maybe the run helped you. <laughs> so two games all now. One of the dynamics in these BNP Prairie by Showdowns is the, the venue. Both guys, of course, even though they grew up a long way from New York, very familiar with this arena and its reputation. Murray's a big boxing fan, so he knows yeah. all about the great bouts that have taken place at various Madison Square Gardens over the years. Djokovic, a big basketball fan, follows the NBA. Oh. <laughs> Showtime. Oh, no. Novak's tweener a little bit more effective. Yeah. The second one was a little ugly there. <laughs> this was pretty good right here. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. That was a mis <laughs> miscue. <laughs> was the score just called it 15 all, I believe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought so. Jay Snyder, who's in the chair for this, Chris, is a, a long-time tournament referee at the U.S. Open for years, and he's uh, he, he settled into a nice retirement. But we, we got to bring him back for this one because he, you know, he gets the uh, the EXO part of it. Mm -hmm. So he's, but he was around many big-time matches as well in his great career. Pretty old. So both guys told me last night very excited to play in this place. Different feel. Yeah. Typical venue. Much bigger feeling arena than even O2. London for the year in championships. Yeah, Novak told me this morning when I saw him, he'd never even been in the building, never been to a concert here or a game. I was I was shocked. He didn't spend that much time in New York when it's not U.S. Open time. Game. So effective wide it serve for Djokovic the game. 3-2 here in New York. I mentioned it's overall 11-8, but in major finals, edge for Murray. 2-1, winning here at the 2012 U.S. Open, that wild, windy five-setter, and of course, the one of the tensest straight-set matches you could yeah. ever have in a final. Oh, no, that's for sure. Especially, you know, how about that last game? <laughs> Talk about tension. <laughs> you know, Murray talked a little bit also at the, in the pre pre-event press conferences, Chris, about the, you know acknowledging that it's been a little bit difficult for him coming back from the back surgery to begin to this year. Actually, felt very 
good about his week last week, which was in Acapulco in Mexico on a hard court. played four tough three setters there which he acknowledged in his press conference and said he thought that his body recovered as well as it has since the surgery lost to Dimitrov who ended up winning the tournament speaking of someone that's looking to make a move look out for that guy it was weird to see that Dimitrov was the fresher player late in the match compared to Murray Yeah, that match finished, Chris, at 2.15 in the morning where Murray lost that match. And Acapulco was a much slower, humid court. And where Djokovic was playing in Dubai was a very quick court. Acapulco making the shift to hard court this year, trying to attract top players yeah. who are tuning up for Indian Wells. Not here. He was involved in the London edition of the showdown, That's losing right. to Pat Cash. Yep. And then, the, and then the other match was Sam and Agassi. Yep. Yeah, and who won that match? Andre won that one. Got him back. Got him back for what? What didn't he get? At least <laughs> to him here at the Garden. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Only, that's the only senior competition. Yeah. <laughs> place a bit in the in that Acapulco event. Mm -hmm. He was obviously trying to be more aggressive with it, but it broke down a little bit against Dimitrov. Lots of errors on that side. Tried to beef that up over the years, and, and again, getting back to the point of the legendary coaches stepping in with these top players. Yvonne Lendl, who you mentioned, really helped Murray in that area, hitting the forehand bigger, going for more over the couple of years that he's been with. Murray's going to really have to work on his yeah, trick yeah, shots. Going Come on. Going on for the tweener between the legs. He's not showing the fed, uh, fed work there. <laughs> yeah. There's another break opportunity for Djokovic to continue his run here in the first set. Yeah, that's beautifully done. I think as, as Murray gets a little bit older, he's obviously just in his mid-20s. He's 26 now, Chris. You know, both these guys put so much stress on their bodies with their movement. Djokovic, I think, is a little, he's, a, he's more flexible. He's more nimble. I think, I, I think you'll see Murray try to start to play quicker points more often. I think that would be hey, smart Murray. for him because he's got the ability to do it. He's got great hands at the net. He's tall and long. He's a better volleyer than Djokovic is. Okay, Murray. And so Murray fights up a couple great points and holds for three all. ESPN brings you another primetime Super Tuesday doubleheader at 7 Eastern. The Wolverines on the road to take on the Illini at 9 o'clock. Alabama and Kentucky. 
John Calipari sent out early. The Wildcats lost to the Gamecocks. Super Tuesday doubleheader. Yeah, they're struggling. What happened, how about Syracuse? What's happened to them? Our, our producer, Bobby Feller, is very upset. Undefeated, and now what have they lost? Four games? Four of their last three of their last four. It's they're playing a rough conference there, that ACC. Okay. All right. And, and going back to what you said about Lendo, Patrick. Yep. I, I would think that as he's getting older, Andy, that he would want him to be more aggressive on the forehand and especially on the second serve. And I know those are two things that he's really looking at for Andy getting bigger to becoming a better player as he gets older. Some miles on the legs that we know. They know how to work on the opponent's legs. Yes. <laughs> they won't call time violation tonight. <laughs> I'm not feeling Jay Snyder calling any time <laughs> violations. Negative. for Djokovic, but when he, when he had to hit the pass, he went to the old reliable. A two-hander is just a thing of beauty. Murray's still trying to recover yeah. from that long point. <laughs> yeah, he's breathing heavy. <laughs> Grassroots events, more than 50 countries around the world involving kids in this great sport. That's been a great big shows in over, in Hong Kong over the New years. It's, yeah. it's just been a great team effort between Jerry Solomon and his team at Star Games, BNP Paribas, the USTA getting behind it here. All the different countries. It's really been. It's really gotten tennis a lot of attention at a time when normally tennis doesn't get it. So that's been awesome. Love the key. Had a chance to see Patrick before your doubles event. Two young juniors, two mm -hmm. very promising young American juniors, took part in an exhibition, getting a taste of the big stage here. Yeah, for Francis Tiafo and Riley Opelka. High hopes for both those guys yes. who are 15 and 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Francis is the real deal. 16-year-old from Maryland. He can't coach height. Pelka is what six foot nine at yep. age 16. Oh. 15, 30. Maria Sharapova joining in on World Tennis Day with that tweet. Yeah, well, we know that about her. That's it's great. How much she loves tennis, loves being out there. Chances for Djokovic now. Yeah, this is a rough game. game. Typically is 
fit. The back surgery has affected that, but I don't think Andy's looked the same since that one long no. point when he's running all over the place. He's been able to catch his breath. So Djokovic will now serve for the first set. It's Murray up the early break here where Djokovic turned it around. Serbian then, then ask him another thing. Did you understand that? <laughs> Probably a good thing. Fifteen. Oh. Slice well tonight. Right up on the baseline, making Murray do all the running. Well, certainly, the guys are certainly getting a workout tonight. Doubt about that. Djokovic, two points from winning the first set. Looking to Murray, be able to challenge. <laughs> you guys have the unofficial challenge. Unofficial, yeah. Go to the replay. Yeah, yeah. where's the video board? We'll take whatever we can <laughs> he get wants to see the replay. The challenges. <laughs> they worked pretty good for the macaros yeah. in the first one. <laughs> That's a heck of a video board, by the way. <laughs> now look at this, the simulation. <laughs> <of this>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's rotating the ball. See too. where it lands. Yeah. Oh. oh no, I don't know if it's that far in. Murray says no. <laughs> just out. Does that almost put the difference? Right, right, right on the line. line. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like it was inside the line actually from that replay that we saw on the big board. Here it is. Uh, that was the line clipper. Yeah. That and the ball even moved on the line. I'm overruling. Or he played it back as though he thought it was good. So much precision, Chris. It's an amazing shot. Just measured that right on the line for a winner. Set point. Game in. First set. And six games. Takes it. Six games to three. Six six games to three. <laughs> Novak overheard a little earlier, borrowing a line from the famous New Yorker, Patrick, that you might know. <laughs> Novak, I'm sitting here with you as the coach, maybe. Now tell me. It feels like Davis Cup. It feels like Davis Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What All did right. you got to say to me? What's well, you got down 2 0. What'd you do to change your game those last six or seven? Hydrate myself more. Just felt much better on the court. 
Did it take you a little time to get used to this court? Yeah, you know, we played uh, outdoors last two months, so I didn't. I haven't played indoor for three, four months, so that uh, takes a little bit of time. Coach says keep up the good work. All right, Andy. If I was your coach here, you find yourself a set down after a decent start. What do you need to do to turn this match around? Start making a few more balls. Has been struggling to control the ball a little bit. I've fired quite a lot of balls long, so make a few adjustments to my shots. Do you feel like the court is playing a little quick? No, it's the, the, the balls. We're playing with ball, uh, very quick balls, and uh, yeah, last week in Acapulco was extremely slow, so I need to I need to adjust a bit faster. Thanks, buddy. I'll see if I can get the balls changed. Maybe if you get, we win the second set, I'll ask for some heavier ones. Okay. Okay. And what, what's, what's the deal with the suit with the Converse sneakers? <laughs> is, that, is that fashionable? Uh, do you like the Zenya suit with the $19 Chuck <laughs> Taylor? <laughs> I'm not feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is either, Andy. <laughs> Miriam Batoli, who is backstage, is scolding Brad for his fashion faux pas here. Yeah. Well, I, I like the, the player interview after the yeah, that's, that's first fun. set. Maybe we need to incorporate that into regular yeah. tour events. That'd be nice. It'll be the day. Yeah. Marie, speaking about the, the balls, which are the, the lighter tennis balls Second used set. by the women at the U.S. Open. Thank you. Rarely are they used in, in men's events, maybe clay court events here in the States. Right away in his practice session this afternoon here, he said he was noticing it, that a little trouble feeling the ball, controlling it. It's flying on him here tonight. Well, as he said, and we heard from Brad earlier, it's in Acapulco. It was, it was very humid, and the courts were right by the water there. Very hot and sticky conditions. So that makes it even heavier. nice about this tonight Chris we, we we sure got the mics turned up on their movement from the sneakers it's sounds like a car race out there but you get an appreciation for how well these guys move oh, oh. sneaker cam yeah sneaker mic Since you know football really well, what do you think either one of these guys could do under four, uh, four, 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 five? Ooh, I don't know. That's that's pretty quick. Under four, four is flying. to the mic. It's a nasty slice. Game, Murray. First game, second set. Talked about this second annual World Tennis Day, Patrick, and some of the events that were going on around the world at the grassroots level. Azerbaijan. Wow. In Cambodia. This really is 
taken off in, in two years. It's amazing the response again for a amazing. second year. More than 50 yeah. countries involved, all parts of the globe. The idea to bring kids to tennis, get them involved. It's not just an athletic outlet, but also a way to improve their lives. Sure. Malaysia, it's amazing to see all the balance in the balls in South Africa. Of course, plenty going on here in the United States yeah. as well. <laughs> Including, we'll show you a bit of the world's largest tennis lesson ever. 15 love And Andy's mom was there, Judy Murray, helping out the USTA put that together at the home of the U.S. Open at the T National Tennis Center. 406 tennis students. Okay. New record, right? This is the new record. Recognized by Guinness. <laughs> Here, but Djokovic is not doing him in that department Show. tonight. Showing his stuff. This. Sorry. Was that a sky hook? That was a sky hook. I'll uh, reverse sky hook. Yeah. And no look sky hook. Oh, yes. A high five from Murray and a fan in the front row after that winner. The team. Sort of a pistol Pete like there, as we saw Pete playing in London tonight. 40 the unforced errors here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a six here, inch putt. Look at this. Nice oh, little, that's good for him there, Brad. Arm, yeah, close arm push ups. Yeah. Tougher on the chest. Advantage, Murray. Who do you think, Brad, to back to your question about uh, running the 40, who, do you, what, who would win in between these two guys? I think both these guys are around 4-4, four, 4-4-5. Four, 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 but those are like the fastest football players in the world are that fast. Uh, are that fast? I, I tell you who could do a sub 4-4. Four, four. Okay. I think Murphy's could do about a 4-3-8. Michael Chang yes. told me 20 years ago. Remember his trainer? Yeah. Said he could do 4-4, four, four, no problem. I don't even want to debate this because it's pointless. I mean, you, you, you're, you're, you've got your mind made up. We'll never know. So we'll just leave it at <laughs> These that. guys are quick. Okay, all right, that's that's well said. Then. Do you know how quick 4-4 four, four is, a sub-4? Four, Advantage. Four, four, Joe Bitch. Let's leave it at fast. that. Yeah. Yeah. Guys who were state champion sprinters you know, in high school and go to the NFL. Don't run that. Use. But they're both great athletes, so who cares yes. what they run the 40 and they move around the tennis court very well. <laughs>
Advantage Murray. Murray a chance to, just as he did in the first set, get up an early break in the second. Points to go by Djokovic. Costs him. Here's that Guinness lesson. record we talked Come about on, a USTA can... tennis play event involving Judy Murray, Andy's mother, of course, and the Harlem Junior Tennis Program, which is a fantastic yep. program here in New York City. 406 wow. students. That's pretty cool. And the certificate, which went to each participant certifying their involvement in a new Guinness World Record. 15 love. Did they have to all do like the same stroke of the lesson or what, what constituted the Guinness record? No, they were all there. They all participated. They were on the court, Brad. It's work, actually, working on their game. It's actually the 408 yeah. now if you include you and John as part of the <laughs> lesson that you got earlier yeah, tonight from the Bryant. Point. So. That's exactly right. Yeah, we got a real doubles <laughs> lesson tonight. That's the last time I mentioned yeah, it, buddy. Thank you. All right, you, got a, you got about three in. That's good. Well, all, all deserved. 30-15. Here tonight, I want both you guys to give me your prediction on the BNP Paribas event in Indian Wells, which of course we're excited at ESPN to again bring you. Have you seen the draw yet? Oh. No, I haven't it's seen not. it. I know the quality just got on. Women's draw is out. Oh, what an angle. Special guest courtside, BG. Yeah, I'm with John Eves, the head of BNP Paribas. Tell us about this event. How you feel about it? Um, we are so proud to, um, you know, having sponsoring this event for now seven years. But speci specifically proud of uh, having brought tennis back to Madison Square Garden. Listen, you know, we uh, it's a global bank, but uh, with deep U.S. roots, and uh, this is our backyard. We are just a few blocks away from our uh, headquarters. And um, sharing this tonight with 16,000 fans and uh, actually all of your viewers at home, we love it. Well, how does this fit into your sponsorship of events? And we love you being part of tennis. It's huge for our sport. Well, tennis fits us in so many ways. You know, it's a sport with a long uh, history. So is the bank. It values uh, individual performance, sportsmanship. I trade around the world. And we sponsor events worldwide. Uh, BNP Paribas has been supporting tennis over 40 years. We do the Davis Cup, the Fed Cup, the French Open. Uh, and by the way, in the U.S., the BNP Paribas Open in California, which, you know, started today. Then we've stayed um, committed to tennis. 
uh, even you know uh, during uh, challenging times the so same way we've been committed to uh, our clients employees and shareholders but Brad more specifically <laughs> we've been supporting tennis uh, across our levels from the big tournaments to wheelchair tennis to uh, family club tennis uh, to just the ones who love playing the games and it's just a terrific night of tennis tonight and we are well, seeing a fantastic game between uh, Andy and, um, and, uh, and Novak. Well, keep spreading the love in tennis. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Brad, thank you. Certainly, if you're a tennis fan, you appreciate being paid for I've been involved 40 years plus in tennis. Love Enjoyed the change over there. Well, we'll get you another shot of the selfie. Yeah, that's, that's uh, popular. Andy Novak now. took. I don't know if it's going to crash Twitter like Ellen <laughs> picked right, last night in the Oscars. Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> I like to know the net worth of those people in that uh, selfie from the Oscars. That was net worth pretty good here. Not too bad not, here. Not yeah, quite to the level. Quite at that level of that yeah. crowd, but pretty darn good. <laughs> now you can go on the feed and compare. Is Andy? Is, is he got a BlackBerry? He went up right. Run tonight than Djokovic. Oh, I mean, that's unbelievable. Double. He's getting he's getting his workout in. I'll tell you that. That's a beauty right there. Shake from the same well, that's fan. That's the same fan. Her, yeah. yeah, she's right in on all the action. I was wondering earlier if you might see a couple of Novak tennis impressions tonight. Uh -huh. I thought his impression of Becker at Australian <laughs> Open was hysterical. Do you remember one ace tonight? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, there's a lot more double faults. Yeah. Where you've seen an indoor match with no aces. And these guys are both capable. And the ball you're talking about being a little mm -hmm. bit lighter, producing serves that could be seven, eight miles per hour yeah. faster. Mm -hmm. 
game, Murray. I have noticed the radar gun Murray appears to be a little bit low. I thought that was just my serve tonight, Chris, but for them, too. <laughs> Six major trophies, half of those down under, or four of them. Four, yeah. Down under, dethroned this year, but the last three before Oprinka got him in the quarterfinals, went on to win it. Juan Garros has eluded him. What are his chances of winning? Uh, his Paris chances this year. are decent. I mean, there's, I would still put him as the next favorite after Nadal. Obviously, he's always the favorite. Bob Rinka has played very well on clay. you got to put him a little bit closer to the top. Also, too, Stan Verwinka, you know, he's three in the world now, and by the French, he still will be number three because, you know, he has very few points to defend. It'll be interesting to see how he deals with being three in the world, and, and he's an excellent clay court player. Stan's played just one match since winning mm -hmm. the Australian Open final over Nadal, who's in Davis Cup. He did the post-slam circuit pretty hard. He did get to the final in one of the big clay court events. I believe it was Rome. Actually. So he has some points to defend. What kind of a year do you think Sam will have, guys, after finally breaking through at 28, winning that first slam title? I think title? He's, he's capable of, of playing well on, on clay and hard. I'm not sure about grass. I think he'll be. I think he'll finish top five. I think I'll go even a little better. I think okay. he's going to finish top four. You know, because I think Ferrer is going to drop. You know, maybe seven, eight. So you think he'll finish ahead of um, Murray, or, or maybe f certainly or Federer is what you're saying? Yeah, I think he could even finish possibly as high as three. Slice again, so nasty from Murray. Not only does he hit it low, but he's, he he gets it to slide away from you. Watch how he slides this ball away from Djokovic, just tailing outward. It's so hard to control that. Made him reach for it at the last yeah. second. Great point. Where will Andy Murray finish the year ranked? He's six now, but in race points, actually a little bit lower than that. It's early in the year, of yeah. course. Oh! I'm going to say that he, assuming he stays healthy, that the back is not a play right, of Murray. I would probably say four. Between I think that's three, a good call. Between three and six at the worst. Yeah, he hasn't finished, what, outside the top four since 2007? They're just five points behind Tomas Burdich, who's in fifth, but Del Potro's just... 15 points behind Murray, so they're very tightly bunched headed to Indian Wells in Miami. A lot can happen in the next month. Oh. 
Djokovic, meanwhile, has a more than 3,800 point deficit to make up behind number one, Nadal. Not impossible, of course, but a and, lot, and lot of work for the Rafa. Plenty of points to defend, obviously, going forward in the play season. A lot and, of wins. And defending champion at Indian Wells, too, for that matter, but didn't play Miami last year. Game point now for Djokovic. Messing around in that game, more meat and potatoes tennis. Novak would, would love to close this yeah. out in straight sets. You know, it's funny, Chris, when we talk about the big four now, I mean, the big four are obviously still the big four, and I'm talking about Nadal, Djokovic, Federer, uh, and Murray when it comes to resume, when it comes to Grand Slam titles. But if you look at the numbers, and here we have the numbers for you, the top, it really, there's really no big four anymore. And, I mean, the ranking numbers tell a different story. And the story is that it's not the big four, Bob Rick. It's a big two? Well, it's a big two at the moment, absolutely. A big one. And there's a, that big gap that you talked about. And I guess, I guess my, my overall point is, are, will, will we start to see it? It's happening, it's happening in the other tournaments, the, the just big tournaments outside the majors. We saw it happen in Australia with Stan winning finally. Will it start to happen in some others as well? The return. It was crazy here. And I think the biggest mystery on there, Patrick, I thought Delco was going to have a huge year, but now the, the wrist issue could become, you know, a huge factor. The other wrist, the one that's derailed him for more than a year. Forty fifteen. What should Federer's fans expect? The nice breakthrough in Dubai. Yeah, in should, Djokovic uh, should be quite happy. He's had four top ten wins already this year. He had four all of last year. 40-30. Brad, where do you see Roger Federer ending 2014 ranked? Well, you know, and he also had no wins against, like, any of the big four. You know, he's already got two. The Fed Fanatics will be in full force <laughs> out in Indian Wells in Miami. Uh, I think he's going to finish the year higher than he did last year. Okay, Murray. There's an ace finally, and Murray thumps that. Okay. Back in front, 4-3. Three. Who's the better photographer between these two world-class tennis players? That was Djokovic, a little <laughs> selfie. As he, he, was, he was worried about the kiss more than the picture there. <laughs> a little blurry. He needed to get yep. that autofocus. Kind of cute, right? And then, and then Andy. Murray yeah. just completely almost cropping himself out of it. <laughs> in the retweet battle, slight edge Djokovic. On the scoreboard, first set to Djokovic on serve in the second. Get those guys with a I think professional you know, photographer. Are they going to order pizzas next? <laughs> oh! The net court in the line wow. by Murray. He's given a hard look at that line, but no video. Oh, here we go. That was a blind shot. <laughs> it did look like it was wide. All now Murray's ready. Murray's going to tweak something out. Oh, here comes the ball kid. Okay, here we go. Think he's nervous? This is a this is a fan. <laughs> Go back staring him down. So we're not gonna serve this guy. Oh, oh he's looking at his strength. Uh, he's gotta get used to that. That's a tightly strung racket there. There you go. Drop shot. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> Get some feel. Look at this. <laughs> That's a moment that young guy won't forget. <laughs> you want some more? Play more. Let's go. He asked for the sweat bet. That's a New York kid. He asked for a souvenir and got it. <laughs> Pretty cool. Look at him. It's showtime. You got to get BG for a little interview with that guy. <laughs> so, man, that wristband's a little sweaty, but I'll take it. He's going to give Murray a couple of break points here. Opportunity on that volley just pushed it right back to Novak. Left for sure. the final set. Let's get down to Brad. I'm with USTA President David Haggerty. How can kids experience fun for the first time when they play tennis? Well, the most important thing is that when they start, they have to have success. So one of the things that, that we do with tennis is you have a shorter court, a smaller racket, and a ball that is that bounces appropriately for them so they can really swing, have success at a young age, and take tennis up for life. That's really what it's about. There's only one number one player in the world. We want to have kids that are enjoying it and play it for a long time. And what can parents do to introduce tennis to their kids and hopefully they don't saw off the wood racket like my dad did when I was three? No, we don't want that. We, we want them to go out and hit with their kids and play with their kids on an age-appropriate court and, uh, and to take it up because it's a family sport. It's a sport that they should be playing together. Families can enjoy the activity and have kids have success at a young age. Parents also can be playing on these shorter courts. If they haven't played before, they can get into tennis. They shouldn't feel intimidated. I love it. Keep spreading the great word of tennis, Mr. President. Oh, Jerry kept <laughs> yeah. He's doing it all tonight. Worked hard putting this whole thing together, so why not enjoy it a little bit? This is a, a lot more energy spent than you, you'll see in mm -hmm. a typical EXO. Would you agree? I totally agree. 
Chances for Djokovic to get back on serve here in the set. I was just thinking the same thing. Both these guys, yeah, look at Djokovic Marianne going Bartoli. over to Bartoli. All right. so, Bart so now the retired oh, reigning Wimbledon champion's going to come out here and play. <laughs> She's got the wing shoes, right? She's got the wings on the shoes, yeah. That's what she's modeling right she now. Needs she needs a racket. A racket. Let's see if we should find one somewhere. So Novak's yeah. isn't good enough. No, I got to okay. use yeah. Novak's, yeah. Novak's is gone. Let's see what some of those return. Oh, here we go. Okay. She's got the wings that she's been working on. The kids. Raise funds for charity for kids. Marion Bartoli. Dot com or website just about we got a Wimbledon champion running. coming in here. So you got the, the two defending Wimbledon champions. The two defending yeah. Wimbledon champs like against it. each other. I think, I, think, I think she's going to change clothes on the court. All right, let's see what's out, what she's got here. Yeah, we get we get it, Mary. The, the, the wings on the shoes. The wings. <laughs> she told me those sneakers cost eighteen hundred dollars. Uh, I was shocked. All right, here's her racket. Okay, These are Christian Louboutin right. sneakers for for those of you who know about expensive shoes. Yeah, the, the crowds are getting on her, so let's go. <laughs> You're gonna stay retired after that. Uh, we're sending her a, we're sending a message here. And now the late out signal. Yeah, Novak called it out. The late out signal. <laughs> Second serve. Oh, that's funny. They no longer have the traditional champions dance at the Wimbledon Ball, right? right. So this is that version of it. Oh. <laughs> All right, give her one. Give her one to hit here. Here we go. He didn't just tighten up right there, did he? to physical therapy yeah. up to that point. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris, I had people down here asking me, like, who was that? I think the crowd the, the, didn't the know. The crowd was, was ooing and aahing as though they were surprised she was getting it back. Mm -hmm. They didn't know that was the Wimbledon champ. Let for serve. And watch more tennis. It's a New York, uh, you know, sports crowd here. Not necessarily the, the U.S. Open tennis oh. crowd. Anyone know the score? I'm not sure if they counted that point. Two great points. Oh, okay. Right. Not that it matters. Highlight reel <laughs> the screen. <laughs> Added in a gold medal, of course, in that same court. It was a pretty good summer. Yeah. The year before, followed up by the golden trophy. All right, we got another youngster out here. It's like a pretty decent looking serve. Could have used that tonight. <laughs> Ooh, nice. This has got his badge on, too. Oh, come on. He's brought his, uh, 
small size racket at that. So Djokovic serving to level the second set at five all. These unofficial matches. Would you agree that the the winner of the first set mm -hmm. becomes a huge favorite? Good chance to close the wrap it up. <laughs> unless unless it's a six-one kind of set, the yeah. first set. draw by the way comes out tomorrow for the men so you guys might getting away without picking okay champion. Yeah. I see just the quality draw is out yeah so so who do you think Brad who's your pick I gotta see a draw first no you don't come on <laughs> just, just, we're, not, we're, not, we're not on the air tomorrow right we're not on for for a while Brad so you, you know you gotta throw the fans a bone here you can give a condition if you want based on the draw Wait, what, what what does the draw have to do with who you think is gonna win it I gotta know where Dimitrov's going now. All right, so if Dimitrov is in the same quarter as Nadal, does that affect you know, your thinking? Uh, here's a prediction for you. Okay. We will not have status quo as okay. usual. We will have at least two of the big four, not in the semis. I think that we will have some shifting going on again. Well, the big four aren't in their own quarter. The big four anymore. aren't the big four anymore. Yeah. Seedings, of course. Straight up rankings, basically. So you could have conceivably, you know, Federer against Nadal Djokovic in the in the quarters. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm gonna go. Oh, Chris, just for the heck of it, as you see, our coverage begins on March 14th on ESPN, back here on ESPN, too. I'm going to go with, with Djokovic. So Ferrer pulled you know, out? Ferrer pulled out, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Seeing Burdish at the four spot was like, that kind of threw me for a loop. Yeah, he heard it against Anderson in the second set. Last week in Acapulco. Self-tackle in soccer right there? Yeah. Uh-oh. Let's, let's hope he's kidding. You never know. Yeah. Did slightly Get a right slight right little tweak, yeah. Five all, 30 all. That's 
long, so Murray, okay, Murray. Murray does hold on and Djokovic for the six five. Of course, the second set tiebreak. We return to New York live second on World set. Tennis Day. Among the events in World Tennis Day, Argentina in the widest road in the world the 30 tennis courts. Buenos Aires does have some yep. incredibly wide streets and roads. Event in South Africa involving wheelchair players and celebrities. Talked about Hewitt's Whenever Burdich and Stozer over Lina in Hong Kong. 15 up. to the running and defend quite a bit yeah, it's been a physical set Joker's been the one dictating Deuce. quick 40 love lead but it's evaporated mm -hmm. and suddenly Murray's within two points of grabbing the set Tweets. Wow. Well, the top players chiming in. Oh. One Double zero begins the tie break for Murray. I say I like Djokovic out in the desert because I just I, I just feel he's due. I mean he's obviously Nadal has always played awfully well there. The conditions help him. So that heavy top is zero. Desert, desert air ball tends to really bounce off those courts. But I don't know. Something just tells me sort of what we talked about at the top, Chris. Are both these guys looking to sort of find a big result? I think Djokovic is closer. And needs that a little bit more. Yeah, 
You just must have read Four. the Rafa tweeters because I had hundreds just tweet me about, are you forgetting about Rafa on that court? <laughs> no, that suits not. his game definitely, perfectly. Definitely not forgetting that. Yeah, especially when it's warm weather, it, he really plays tremendous there. Looks like a guy has got Indian Wells on his mind. Yeah. Thinking about that flight across the country tomorrow. Get out to the desert conditions. Get a few days to get ready. Jen with Djokovic well, still in control. Well, Djokovic has had so much fun here in New York. He's just thinking, geez, maybe you know the morning before he leaves, maybe go for another run in the Central Park. If it gets you know if it's down below about 10, 12 degrees, it'd be perfect for him. Loves that cold weather. Would it be about 70 degree change out there in, yeah. the, in the desert? I, w I wouldn't be, wouldn't be shocked if they weren't flying out tonight. Mm. I know the Murray camps leaving tomorrow. Are they? Five two, Djokovic. I think uh, Novak's plan is to head right to the airport, head, head west along with the Bryan brothers. Okay. Wait. He won't find that on any airline schedule, by the way. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, he's done a lot of running tonight, so Murray one more time. Just to sprint to the back of the court. Novak is giving the Scots legs a workout. And now has a, Six two. a, a bunch of match points. Oh, both guys. Before yeah, I'll tell you, that was a really sweet return. So Djokovic breaking Murray, who served for the second set, closes it out in the tie break. That was fun stuff tonight. Really well done by both these guys. Excellent entertainment. Some really fun rallies. Surprisingly physical tennis yeah. for these two sets. Here's the BNP Paribas. Match summary. Take the stats with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. Murray punished on his second serve points. Not a shot there. Total of seven breaks. Good workout, though. You said, I mean, a good hour and 35 minutes and quite a bit of court coverage, in, court coverage from both guys. And they both get it. There was some fun yeah. stuff. The people here enjoyed it near Madison Square Garden. And we'll hear from both guys momentarily as Brad Gilbert moves into position. Let's hear from both guys their thoughts on tonight and peek ahead to Indian Wells. Brad? First of all, guys, fantastic show. What was the feeling out there tonight, Novak? Incredible. Thank you all guys for coming out and supporting tennis and... Uh... World Tennis Day, it, uh, it was a um, huge honor and pleasure to, to be in Madison Square Garden for the first time and to be here celebrating the, uh, celebrating the World Tennis Day. So uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been an amazing experience. I want to thank Andy also for playing, playing with me and I hope you enjoy the match and enjoy the tennis and uh, thanks for coming out. Andy, you looked like you had a lot of fun out there. 
Marion Bartoli showed up, a couple of ball kids. Were those tricks up your sleeve this whole match? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although the, the kid that came over there, he, he, I'd met him in Miami before he told me, uh, which is pretty amazing that I managed to pick him out. But it was, it was good fun. Uh, really enjoyed it. This is a special place to play. Uh, we may never get the chance to do this again. So great, great privilege to play here. So the kid was a ringer. Did he play in that little um, Guinness Book of Records that your mom did yesterday? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, there's a good chance. There's about half of uh, New York's kids were there. There was like 410 kids, so pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, it's been been a great, great couple of days for for me and my family here. I really enjoyed it. And Novak, you started out the day with a little run in Central Park. Did that inspire you tonight to be ready? Because it looked like you put in a little road work out there tonight in that second set. <laughs> we were both running a lot. Um... No, I, I, I love New York City. It's uh, one of the most special cities in the world. And Center Park, obviously, is, uh, is, uh, is my favorite place in New York. And it uh, doesn't matter what the weather is, even though it's uh, cold and freezing outdoors, I, I just wanted to have a, have a little walk, have a little jog, and uh, no, it's great. All right, we got one more BNP Paribas out to the desert next week in Indian Wells. What are your impressions about that? Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, I think Novak's leaving this evening, so he's got a long flight over there, uh, getting late. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow morning, but looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's a fun tournament, one of the best on the tour. Weather's a little bit different there than here, and uh, hopefully we can, we can both have a good tournament. This has been good preparation for it. All right, Chris Fowler. Our Chris Fowler has one request for you guys. You see up there, like up in the catwalk, like the rafter, like you guys try up at the open. You think yeah. you guys can make a ball like up in the rafter up there. up there? He's up there. That's hey, how Chris. high. The hey, Chris. Um, okay, watch your head. We're going to try to make it. <laughs> All right, try to get it What's up here. Brad, Brad thinks he, they got no chance to do this. He says that you got no chance to make it up to that <laughs> catwalk up there. That's where our booth is. Can you believe you can't even see it? It's up about, it's the actually it's on the, the tenth bridge. story. Yeah. Well, if you asked us before the match with a little bit more strength and energy, I think we could make it, but now, okay, let's try. Let's give okay. it a shot. All right, All right stand go. up, Chris Fowler. We're, we're standing up. We're here, bro. We're ready. All right, they're ready. This All is right, a the ride. guys are going to try one shot up there. <laughs> if he can hit us, he can get us up, but we'll promise we'll shut up. He, he, we'll he, make he, everybody happy. What it. do you think, Chris Fowler? What are the odds? All right, the guys are signing in here. And first of all, let's give it up. What a great effort tonight for the guys. Novak, Djokovic, and Andy Murray. I don't care if they autograph it. I just want to see if they can do this. He Where says, hey, Chris Fowler says, forget the autograph. He doesn't want the autograph. He says he just wants to see if you can do it. <laughs> Where is he? Where, stand up. Right there. You see right there? 100% he says he gets you. Too off the room. Oh, it was too high. high. It was too high. It, it was going to make it. That was going to make it. Make it. Make it. Got one more. Uh, don't <laughs> jump. Oh. Uh. The slap oh, shot Novak's off the glass. Going, not even his own racket. Oh, wait, wait. Here comes, here comes Novak. Oh, that's oh, too, too hard. That's going to hurt someone. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh that's that close. It. Oh. Well, a fun show from, from Andy and Novak. Shot. 